Hi everyone! In this lecture, we'll learn how to handle media stuff. Then we'll upload it to the Firebase later in the next lecture. First of all, we will add a tap gesture to the avatar so that when users tap the avatar or UI image view, we present image picker controller to choose an image. So we need an action to respond to user taps on the UI image view. However, by default, a UI image view doesn't respond to user taps or things like that. Therefore, we must add some sort of responsive ability to our UI image view. Intuitively, we would need to define some sort of user gesture that we would want this UI image to respond to, like tapping or things like that. We can let this UI image be able to recognize this gesture and act accordingly. We use self, which is the signup view controller itself. An action is going to be a method we will use to present an image picker controller. We want to present a photo library, so let's assign photo library type for the source type on the picker. Finally, let this signup view controller present this image picker controller. Okay, we got an error, argument of selector. This just is the required syntax of the new Swift version, so simple type, simply type add objc. All right, let's tap on the avatar. And okay, this is the image picker we're talking about. It allows users to pick photos from library. But where is it? Okay, we present an image picker controller, but we also need to update the avatar every time users tap on a photo of picker. To do so, let's write an extension for that. Purpose we use this the purpose we use this extension for is simply to add more methods for the signup. Okay, we let it conform to the UI image picker controller delegate and the UI navigation controller delegate protocols. Precisely, option click the UI image picker controller delegate protocol. We can see an optional method called did finish picking media with info. So by conforming to this protocol and implementing this method, or our signup view controller can get access to photos selected from the photo library via the info parameter at the end of the parameter list. Our first job is to display the photo on the UI image view. We can see how the info parameter looks like. What we're looking for is an image key. Let's choose edited image key for now so that if the photo is edited while the user previews the photo, this info will return to the edited photo and then we assign the selected photo for the avatar. All right, let's duplicate this stuff. We also update the avatar if the user doesn't edit the image. So the info key will be the original image. Okay. Let's also dismiss the picker after picking the photo. Before running the app, let's do some configurations for the picker. We allow the users to edit the selected photo and make sure assign the signup controller for the delegate of picker so that we enable methods in the UI image picker delegate. All right, let's run the app. Let's go to sign up and then tap on the avatar image view. Choose a photo. Very good. In the next video, we'll learn how to upload this user photo to the Firebase. See you then.